Hey, what's up guys with a Hall You Blast. I'm Serge. And I'm Oscar, and today we are reacting to 101's new comeback song, Spring Breeze. Now, this is interesting because we actually found out that this is their first full album, mm -hmm. well, first studio album. The rest were considered EPs, which... which is weird to think about. I this. still, I really don't understand the difference. No. Um, that's just, I don't know, that's always been a thing. I, I really don't understand the differences. But uh, we'll just find that out another day, but uh, let's go. Yes. I really need to just like spend a day and look at that stuff. Yeah. So that's always like confused me. That looks really cool. I actually just watched their Knowing Rose episode, too. Okay, so not so far. Uh, dude, he was so funny in the show, like, he was... He's amazingly funny. He made me laugh the most. He's he's really funny. Wait, in the episode or just <laughs> in the episode with Hicho? <laughs> yeah, with Hicho. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think, is he the only Chinese member? I'm not sure. I think he is. From what I saw. I think he was Chinese. The colors of this music video are real cool. Yeah. Uh, literally. Literally, yeah. At that point, yeah. yeah. Earlier it was warm, but. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Now it's cool. Now it's cool, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, oh. there's probably a whole lot of meaning going around in here. You can look at the lyrics after this. Oh, definitely. Those high notes are so good. Kind of did a similar thing in Burn It Up where I was showing you to the members like that. The Burn It Up had their names. Yeah. a very beautiful song. That really was, honestly. I wasn't, I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. Yeah. Uh, when the, 
where it kind of where it kind of dropped. Where you think it's where gonna, you yeah, thought it was yeah. gonna drop. I totally one hundred percent expected like that tropical or explosion or something like to es escalate. Especially totally with the did. vibe of the music mm -hmm. video, you feel like it's gonna go that way, mm -hmm. but it just never does. And the very beginning, you felt like something was gonna happen, and mm -hmm. then it went the opposite <clears throat> way. And I'm all about that. Um, I know earlier on in the year where you were saying at first it was like the tropical house sun was getting it was getting a little yeah. a little too much. And then they started doing, we started seeing uh, comebacks where it was, the drop was the low, low drop. drop. And then the you were like, drop. okay, this isn't, like, we need to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it is, um, I mean, it's just one of those things. Yeah, one you of know? those things. Uh, but I actually really enjoyed that part, yeah. honestly. And I think this might be the first one-on-one -on -one song where I'm like, in in. Because I really liked Light, but it I wasn't think... as much as I like, yes, you liked it, if I recall. I did, I did mm. like Light. Um, I know, I, if I recall, I liked Beautiful a little bit, mm -hmm. and I really liked I Promise You, which is the B-side I mean, Boomerang, I think. I feel like we've generally liked pretty much all of the mm -hmm. title songs, but I don't think... Maybe this is one of those groups where I think one of the problems was we didn't really know them. Uh -huh. So we never really got into them, because I'm not going to lie, just literally after watching the Knowing Bros episode with them, I... I feel like I like them more. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just it's one of those things that we talk about. Mm -hmm. Like when you get to know a group, you will you will end up liking them better. And we didn't watch the season of Produce One One with them. It's kind of the situation I'm in right now with uh, Eyes One. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch that show, so I don't feel this connection like to them like how Serge does. When I see them, to me personally, it's just another, another group. Another group, yeah. And it's the same thing One On One, really like. And it's weird because they've been around for so long, mm -hmm. but I think it just it just got so out of hand with like putting them off to the side, kind of. That I just never got into mm -hmm. them. And um, recently, I've been trying to catch up on my Knowing Brothers episodes, and I finally got to the one with um, One Hundred One, and it was really funny. Like <laughs> I don't know, like all the members were just super funny, and it was really great. And it was just kind of funny that we were reacting to this like the next day, like. I didn't mean for that to happen. Like I watched the episode and then we're reacting to him, but I'm kind of glad it worked out that mm -hmm. way, honestly. Um, let's read the song. Uh, I think I might give it a ten. I uh, this was a really good song. It really was, honestly. You see, I want to give it a ten. I, mean, I just I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I feel pretty good about it, though. I'm not. I didn't feel unsatisfied at all. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna give it a ten too. Yeah, just like, based off of that feeling, because it, it kind of just really went by really fast for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that's an obvious uh, showing of how much I, I, you know, I enjoyed it. Um, I really, I was doing swaying, I was bobbing my head a lot. So I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it pretty much. So I think I'm gonna give it a ten too. Ten. Um, what I'm curious about, and I'm gonna look it up right now as I'm talking, is um, I know you mentioned right before this is that they might extend. The, I saw like, like a contract. I saw an or? article. It's weird though, because if I'm not mistaken, I think their contract already had been extended, which is why oh, they're going okay. till January. Oh, okay, I think okay. I'm not entirely too sure. I want that might have actually been the original date, which you know what that actually might have been the original date. Mm -hmm. But I did see another article today. I don't know where it was, but just saw that they might. There's rumors that they're gonna extend it, mm -hmm. and honestly, I kind of hope they do. Like. I know we had this thing with IOI. No one wanted IOI to break up, but that, I mean, this, it's really hard to compare the two because one on one is way arguably more popular than IOI is. I like, mean, yeah, like, you're, and you're probably not. One on one has been together longer, and they've also released more things. Mm -hmm. And I, I really don't think it's in companies' best interest to get rid of them. Now, granted, all these guys do belong to their yes. respected yes. Uh, they agencies. They have their own agencies and their own groups as well. <laughs> and their own groups. But if it's any indicator, look at what happened to IOI. Like, we love all these groups that the girls separated and went into. But, I mean, let's be honest. I don't think any of the post-IOI groups are doing really amazing. Mm -hmm. It's fair to say. So, what, like, Daya's... You know, we know how Daya is going, but I honestly think that's more on the fault of MBK. Mm -hmm. I don't think MBK is doing them justice. But then that's also the same thing with Pristine. Mm -hmm. And Pristine. Pledis. Oh my Pledis god, is, dude. Pledis, Pledis is just... Everyone knows how Pledis is. Oh my god. Um, Gugudan. They're not doing horrible. Mm -hmm. I want to say they're probably doing 
one of the better, I want to say. I mean, well, I, them and Weki Meki are Weki Meki are probably the two, and then there's Chunga, of course. But Chunga's, I mean, Chunga's probably, actually Chunga is probably the mm. most successful I mean, post IOI. Maybe I, I would probably say so. I would probably say so. Also, I think. Am I forgetting anyone? Uh, is well, there another group? Somi's, and then there's WJSN. Oh, know. and WJSN. Okay. Well, maybe WJSN. Can we? Count? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I guess I mean, so. I, I probably. So it'd probably be like Chunga WJSN. I would say so. Or we still haven't seen Somi, Somi yet, there. but yeah, Somi now is with the Black Label. That's gonna movie. be really interesting. Mm-hmm. And then um, Sohye. I mean, she's. I honestly oh, haven't I, heard. I have not heard anything I actually about heard her about either. ever since. Because I know she's an actress, but I, I don't even think I've seen a drama she's been in, or if she has been. Um. So we're right here. It says uh, do 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 one oh one expires at the end of 2018. Oh, it's well, it's January 2019, technically. From what I've seen, it's oh, well, it's it, it could 20, be mm-hmm. yeah, 2019. Um, but that's I mean, again, just a rumor. We're not 100 percent sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really can't find a. Um, yeah, I don't honestly don't remember. I was just skimming through things and I had saw it somewhere. Oh, okay. So it, it was okay. Okay, on January 31st. Da, da, da. Want to remain as a group until February 2019. That's how much. That's how much longer they want to extend it. Just a month. Just a month, yeah. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. That's like what? Oh, it's because they look like they want to hold a final concert, which was scheduled, oh. which was scheduled for December, but they moved it to January and they want to move it finally to February. That's gonna be interesting. That would be really cool to see. Just oh, okay. the same. Okay, the agency also added that the reports of the group being maintained until February are not true. And even if it is extended, the date will, the end date will be in January. So, no. okay, January. So, January, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I don't know, that's pretty interesting, though. Like, it's really crazy to see them break apart such, like, a huge group. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, and how many times have we seen, we think we've seen them, We've like, seen them three times. Three times, mm-hmm. that's... Well, you might have, did you see them? You saw them four times. You saw them at Korea. I did. You did? You saw them play Boomerang. I did. You did. Where? At the at the show. No. Yes. No. He, I'm it, almost the group entirely wasn't there. sure. The group wasn't there. I'm it was only almost entirely sure because no. if I recall, I remember you talking about you listening to the song Cause while it, you were there. It's because um the group wasn't there, but one of the members was actually the MC. Oh. And their song ended up winning, so they played it, but the MC accepted the reward because if one one was there. It you been, might not have. It would have been crazy. You're probably right. They like Maybe, yeah. that. I might have been next name. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. uh, it was Monster X that was there, and I'm pretty sure One on One wasn't there. I think I'd remember seeing. I could have swore. I don't know. I, I have to go back. Could have swore you saw them. I'm like 95 percent sure we did not see them though. Okay. Yeah, like 95 percent. But we oh, did oh, see oh. them at three different KCons. Oh. Twice in New York and one in LA, or <laughs> twice in LA. Twice in LA, one in New York. Mm-hmm. We saw them in 2017. I think it was. One of their first uh, concerts, if I recall. It was actually mm. yes, that is very true. It was mm. twenty seventeen in yeah. L A. Um, yeah, well, yeah, they weren't a group yet in New York in twenty seventeen, were they? I don't remember. I'm not sure. I don't. They had either just became one or they hadn't been formed yet. Mm. But I don't know. It's it's been really cool to yeah. see them like come this far, even though I I don't know. Even though we don't really pay attention to them as much. Mm-hmm. It's really hard not to notice one on one. It's true. Like it's really hard, especially when you go to a KCON. Oh. It is insane. Very it's, loud. <laughs> it's very loud. It's just crazy seeing all the fans these guys have, and I don't know. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing if they have another music video because I'm sure they will. Probably this one well, really. Actually, it's really this one seen. really gave off the vibe like it did. Because I I don't know if you noticed, but that cassette in the end it looked like it had an infinity mm-hmm. sign. And I, I'm just taking that ad as like this group will live on, but like it kind of it, it kind of seemed like a goodbye video. It really did in a way. I yeah. think the whole part with them panning e- over each, each of their faces yeah. mm-hmm. that kind of made me feel like, damn, I think I think this is it for one on one. Which it took me this long, but I am kind of sad about honestly. Yes. I I don't know. It's just one of those things. But it was a really good song and a music was. video, honestly. Mm-hmm. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Like always, leave some feedback below. Hit that like and sub button. And that's all. See you later.